In a surprising and strategic maneuver, BCE Inc. has sold its 37.5% stake in Maple Leaf Sports and Entertainment, that is MLSE, to its rival Rogers Communications Inc. for a hefty $4.7 billion. This decision, while monumental, reflects BCE's urgent need to address its deteriorating financial situation. CEO Marco Bibak, who had previously seen MLSE as a cornerstone of BCE's asset portfolio, found himself in a tight spot. With BCE grappling with a massive $39 billion debt and facing persistent stock price declines, Bibak's choices were limited. The company's financial strain became evident as it received downgraded debt ratings from two major agencies, underscoring the urgency for a significant cash infusion. The seeds of BCE's financial troubles were sown two years ago when the company's stock reached unprecedented heights. However, the landscape began to shift with the central bank's interest rate hikes starting in March 2022. These increases made BCE's dividend yields less attractive compared to safer investment options, leading to a sharp decline in stock value. The company's once stable financial model, which relied heavily on annual dividend increases, began to falter under the weight of rising debt and unsustainable cash flow practices. To compound matters, BCE's core telecommunications business faced increasing challenges. With Canadians cutting cable subscriptions and new market entrants like Freedom Mobile intensifying competition, BCE's growth prospects dimmed. As the industry's competitive landscape grew more hostile, BCE found itself struggling to maintain its dividend payouts while investing heavily in infrastructure upgrades. Faced with these mounting pressures, BCE had to make a tough choice. The sale of its MLSE stake, which had been a prized asset, was a strategic move aimed at reducing debt and reallocating capital towards more pressing growth initiatives. Despite the $4.7 billion from the sale offering a significant return on investment since 2012, BCE's financial health remains precarious. Analysts estimate that even with the proceeds from this sale, BCE's debt to EBITDA ratio will only improve marginally. While the sale to Rogers, a direct competitor, might seem counterintuitive, it underscores BCE's need to stabilize its finances and shift focus. The transaction is expected to undergo a lengthy regulatory review, adding another layer of complexity to the deal. In summary, BCE's decision to offload its MLSE stake highlights the severe financial challenges the company faces. It represents a strategic, albeit difficult, pivot to regain stability and focus on its transformation from a traditional telecommunications provider to a more diversified tech entity. The impact of this move on BISA's long-term prospects will unfold over time, but for now, it marks a significant shift in the corporate landscape of Canadian sports and telecommunications. Stay subscribed for more videos.